question three, calculate the mass of lead iodide produced if 10 grams of lead nitrate is reacted with 20 grams of potassium iodide. So uh, let's start with what's in this question. So it says calculate the mass of lead iodide. Our finishing point here is our mass of lead iodide. We're starting with 10 grams of lead nitrate. So we've got M equals 10.0 grams. And it's reacted with 20 grams of potassium iodide. Okay, now in question one and question two, we had a clear starting point and finishing point. I can very clearly um, ascertain that this is our finishing point. This is where we want to get to, but we actually have two starting points, okay? And so this indicates to me that this type of question is a limiting reagent, excess reagent question. So what we have to do is to work out which one of these is our limiting reagent and which is in excess. And the only way we can do that is to start by calculating the number of moles. So we'll just start with our lead nitrate. Um, to work out number of moles, we're going to need molar mass. Okay, so lead is 207.2 plus um, we've got two nitrates. So I'm going to go two times. Nitrogen is 14 plus 16 times 3. So our molar mass there is 331.2 grams per mole. So number of moles equals mass on molar mass, um, which is equal to 10.0 divided by 331.2. And if we throw that in the calculator, we get 0 0.0302 mole. Okay, so we'll come back to that in one moment. Let's have a look at the number of moles of potassium iodide. So our molar mass um, potassium is going to be 39.1 and our iodine is going to be 126.9. So if we um, add those together, we get 166 grams per mole. Okay, number of moles equals mass divided by a molar mass. Okay, so we've got 20.0 divided by 166. Throw that in the calculator and we get 0 0.120 mole. Okay, so here are our two starting points. We have 0 0.0302 mole of lead nitrate and 0 0.120 mole of potassium iodide. This can sometimes be the trickiest part of the whole question. So let's take one at a time. I'm going to cover up potassium iodide for a moment. If we have 0 0.0302 moles of lead nitrate, we need two times that amount. So we've got a ratio of 1 to 2, which means we would need 0.06-ish moles. Okay, And if we look at how much we actually have, we have more than that. Okay, We would then call this our excess reagent. And this one, our limiting reagent. Now, sometimes this can be tricky in your head. Okay, I'm going to go back the other way just as proof of concept. Um, if we have potassium iodide, we've got 0 0.120 moles of potassium iodide. If we had that much, we would need half of that. Okay, because we've got a 1 to 2 ratio, half of that of lead nitrate. We would need 0 0.06 moles of lead nitrate. And we've got not enough. Okay, we, we've only got 0 0.0302 moles. Okay, so that, that again um, reiterates in your head that this is definitely our limiting reagent. This is definitely our excess reagent. So when we move forward to answer our question okay we've got 
um, we've got to use our limiting reagent number in our stoichiometric ratio. Okay, so you could almost um, forget about this excess reagent now because we've got more of that than what we need. Um, it's not going to determine how much product we get. Okay, so we have 0 0.0302 moles of lead nitrate. Okay, our number of moles of lead iodide, we've got a one to one ratio. So therefore, it's the number of moles of lead iodide is equal to the number of moles of lead nitrate, which is 0 0.0302 mole. We're wanting to know the mass, so we're going to need our molar mass. Okay, lead again is 207.2 grams per mole. Iodine is 126.9 and we've got two of them. So if we put that in a calculator, we get a molar mass of 461 grams per mole. Um, so therefore, our mass is equal to number of moles times uh, molar mass. 0 0.0302 times 461 gives us our mass to three significant figures of 13.9 grams we started off in both of our answers uh, sorry both of our starting masses with three mole uh, three significant figures so we finish with three with three significant figures um, a little tip that I learnt um, when you finish a question and you've got lots of calculations like this what you can do is underline the answer